All right, so today we're going to look at the pendulum. So we got the pendulum on the screen that swings back and forth, and we're going to have this one here. So we're looking at work, power, and energy. Okay? So when I do this, if I take an object and I lift it through the air, I'm exerting a force on it, and the force is in the same direction I'm lifting, so that's the work. It's the same if I swing it off to the side like this. Okay, I'm still lifting it. The force is still straight up and down, so it doesn't matter that it went side to side like this. It's the up and down part. So what I did here, when I lifted it, I put work into it. And now that it's hanging at this 90 degrees, okay, it has, the work I've done is now the energy it has, and it's stored energy because it has the potential to swing down. So that force times the distance is the work. The energy I have now is the mass times acceleration due to gravity times my height that I've lifted. I'm gonna count this as my ground. I'm gonna pretend this is sitting on the ground here. Okay, so now as I lift it up, and now it swings through. As it swings through, when it gets down to the bottom, you saw, I'm about to hit my computer screen, I should move over a little bit. Okay, so as this swings through, okay, you saw right down here at the bottom, it had velocity. But now I'm on my floor, right, this is my floor, and so I have no potential because I'm at the bottom. I don't have the potential to fall anymore, I can't go any farther down. So my potential here is zero, okay? But uh, work I put in became potential, became kinetic, turns back into potential. Now to get from the top down to the bottom, I'm also doing work, but now it's not me lifting, it's gravity pulling down. So just like it fell through the air, okay? That is the work done by gravity, which is just a force, it's weight again, times the distance, which was the exact same work I put in at the beginning. So work equals energy equals work equals energy, back and forth and back and forth, right? So if you look at your pendulum here, right, he's swinging. So I did work, which equals a force times a distance, which is just his weight. This force equals his weight, whether it's in um, pounds or newtons, okay? The distance is just the string length. Bill Derrick. Okay, now when I'm up here, I have potential energy, which is mgh. The h is the strength length. Okay, that force, mg, force is mass times acceleration. So this is the mg. So it's the same number. So we've already got the number. And now we're going to swing down. As we swing down, gravity did work on me. That work is the force times the distance or the height, and now down here, there's no potential, and what do we have? We have kinetic. But that kinetic is equal to the potential that I had up the top. And yes, we're supposed to be using a U for this, but potential, PE just makes more sense, doesn't it? Okay, but it is a U. Okay, potential equals kinetic. So once I have this number, I have this number. If I want to find velocity down here, I just solve for velocity. All right, I multiply both sides by two, I divide by the m, and I take the square root, and now I can find velocity at the bottom because I know the kinetic energy, and it just repeats over and over and over and over. All right, hopefully that clears things up. Hopefully that makes more sense.